behind the scenes of every movie you love, years of planning have gone into making sure that every line, prop, and camera angle are exactly what the filmmakers want. The crazy thing about movie making, though, is that sometimes, even with all the planning, the filmmakers and actors decide to toss out the script and improvise instead. Sometimes this can be disastrous, but other times, these unplanned moments turn out to be seriously awesome. For this video, we're taking a look at some of the best, for our list of 10 improvised movie scenes that made actors react out of nowhere. Enjoy this video, and be sure to hit the subscribe button for more awesome Screen Rant content every single day of the week. Yes! And before we start, can you guess this movie from these emojis? Stay tuned for the answer at the end of our video. Key to success in this racket is this little baby right here. It's called cocaine. The Wolf of Wall Street. Matthew McConaughey had himself a pretty good 2013. Not only did he take home the Best Actor Oscar for Dallas Buyers Club, he also delivered a quick but quality performance in The Wolf of Wall Street. Fans loved the scene where McConaughey was banging his chest. <laughs> and as it turns out, this is something the actor made up on the spot. The ritual was actually something McConaughey would do before shooting, and he decided that he would bring it into the scene. Leonardo DiCaprio is a world-class actor, but you can totally see him cracking up, and even looking over to the camera crew as McConaughey's chest beating and humming escalates. Zoolander While 2016's Zoolander's sequel was an absolute travesty, the original film is actually quite hilarious, and is jam-packed with fun, unscripted moments. I guess so. In one scene involving David Duchovny and leading man Ben Stiller, Duchovny's character is explaining how the fashion industry has been behind every high-profile political assassination of the last hundred years. Stiller's Zoolander asks why male models, which prompts Duchovny to give a long and clear explanation. Stiller then stares right at him and again asks, But why male models? Are you serious? I just... I just told you that a moment ago. As it turns out, this moment happened because Stiller actually forgot his line, and just opted to repeat his previous one. The scene was totally unplanned, but thanks to Duchovny's great reaction, it ends up fitting in perfectly. The Dark Knight The Dark Knight is still regarded as one of the best superhero movies of all time, and Heath Ledger's Joker performance has become even more iconic as the years have gone on. Ta-da! It's... It's well known that Ledger threw himself deep into the role, and this led to some pretty amazing unscripted moments. Do I really look like a guy with a plan? A lot of people already know about the improvisation in the scene where the Joker blows up the hospital, but there is also a great unscripted moment from when the Clown Prince of Crime is locked up behind bars. As the officers in the room applaud Commissioner Gordon's promotion, Ledger begins totally off script to slowly clap, and staring through the prison bars with a truly terrifying look. It was just a simple improvisation, but it totally changed the vibe of the scene, and has become an iconic moment from the film. The Silence of the Lambs Even though he had less than 25 minutes of screen time in the movie, Anthony Hopkins' performance as Hannibal Lecter is still one of the most bone-chilling portrayals of all time. Even with such little screen time, Hopkins found ways to improvise some truly creepy moments. In one scene, Dr. Hannibal Lecter is in the middle of telling a story to FBI agent Clarice about his cannibalistic ventures. At the end of this story, Hopkins decided to ad-lib a truly haunting that is now an iconic part of his character. Apparently, this was something that Hopkins would do often between scenes to try to spook Foster. So when he brought the hiss into the scene, the terror on Foster's face is 100% real. Fast and Furious 6 The Fast and Furious movies have brought us some of the best over-the-top action scenes in recent memory. But hidden between scenes of cars doing backflips are some pretty well-acted moments featuring a talented cast. Fans were excited when Dwayne The Rock Johnson joined the franchise, but who would have known that he would deliver the best improvised moment from the entire series? You better hide your baby, or You better hide that big-ass forehead. <laughs> The best part about this improvised line is Ludacris' genuine reaction. You can act like a man! What's the matter with you? The Godfather. The Godfather is one of the most loved films of all time, and Marlon Brando's performance as Vito Corleone is truly iconic. I'm gonna make him an offer he can refuse. Brando does an amazing job of crafting a multi-dimensional character that is so much more than just a ruthless mob boss. One of the most memorable scenes comes when Brando is delivering some brutal orders, all while gently, albeit maniacally, stroking a cat. The crazy thing about this is, the cat was never part of the original script. The origin story of the cat is spotty, 
Some reports say that the director plopped the feline into Brando's lap just before filming began. And other reports say Brando found the famous feline roaming around the set and decided to use him. Whatever the case may be, an unplanned cat definitely adds an interesting dynamic to any film shoot. That's a terrific story. The Empire Strikes Back the Star Wars films are known for a lot of things, but they definitely aren't what comes to mind first when you think of great improvised lines. That being said, Harrison Ford brought his special blend of charming and cocky to the iconic role of Han Solo. I like this thing. And he's been a fan favorite ever since. As it turns out, one of Ford's most famous lines was actually improvised by the actor on the spot. In a scene where the script required him to show some compassion, Solo was supposed to respond, I love you too, to Princess Leia. Ford didn't like how the line felt, so George Lucas told him to just say whatever he felt fit best. The actor decided to go with, I know, which is probably the most Han Solo answer to I love you that we could possibly imagine. Trainwreck Trainwreck was one of the most hilarious movies of 2015, and featured some great performances by Amy Schumer, Bill Hader, and even John Cena. One actor that was surprisingly funny in the film was NBA superstar LeBron James. In one scene, LeBron is trying to convince the couple to take a trip to Cleveland. Is that a good place to vacation? The perfect place. No, it's not. <laughs> you know what they say? Cleveland rocks. Who says that? I do. <laughs> it's a scene that can only be seen in the extra features, but it is totally worth it. The Departed. This story of a Boston crime family was stuffed with incredible actors like Matt Damon, Jack Nicholson, Leonardo DiCaprio, and many more. My theory on feds is they're like mushrooms. Feed them <laughs> keep them in the dark. The girls have a good day. <laughs> Scorsese did a great job directing this film, but there were some moments that even he couldn't take credit for. In an intense scene opposite Leo about uncovering a rat in the group, Nicholson decided to take things into his own hands. Even though it wasn't in the script, Nicholson pulls out a gun from under the table, and this move totally changed the tone of the scene. You got something you wanna... ask me? DiCaprio is visibly rattled by the Nicholson power move, and it only adds to the authenticity of the moment. Kudos to Leo for just rolling with Nicholson's decision and delivering such a great scene. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 the Harry Potter movies have some of the most devoted fans in the world, and they will go to extreme lengths to defend every aspect of the wizarding world. That being said, there is one scene that makes even the biggest Potterhead cringe, and that is the moment when Voldemort and Malfoy share an incredibly awkward hug. According to Tom Felton, this uncomfortable moment was totally improvised, and caught the cast totally off guard. While they were filming the scene, Rafe Fiennes, who plays Voldemort in the series, decided to hug Felton, and the actor's reaction of stopping dead in his tracks and looking very confused is totally genuine. What did I miss? So there it is. There's our list of 10 improvised movie scenes that forced actors to react on the spot. Which one of these great moments was your favorite? And the answer to the movie emoji is... Did you get the right answer? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Screen Rant for more fun videos like this one. Thanks for watching.